What's up YouTube, this is Go Should Do here, and welcome back to another Go Should Do video review. Uh, this is going to be a triple review, uh, no don't want any, so let's see how this goes. But we're going to do on the infamous triple changer, Astro Train. So, right here I have the um, reissued 2019, 2020, I mean, uh, yeah, 2020 uh, Astro Train. But he is pretty much the same mode as the G1, he's very heavy, die cast, so that's pretty good. Um, you can see he, um, he already has four wheels. These outer wheels are fake. And you can see the thrust engine boost back there. And yeah, he holds pretty good. He rolls. And there was nowhere to store his weapon as I know of on him. I've never looked into it, but I don't think there is an area for him to store this weapon. But there is, you guys let me know. So yeah, so that's Astro Train. I'm going to go on to the next one. Here is the Transformers Generation First Astro Train, and they made this one into a bullet train. Um, yeah, he is a lot brighter in, um, in color-wise, just white is more prominent in this one. But yeah, you can see, um, you can store his gun on top right here. He's got two, he has six <clears throat> wheels. Uh, these two are fake right here, but yeah. Get this open flat, so you can but yeah, he rolls pretty good. Got the engine boost on the back also. And next up is the big boy himself, Earthrise Astro Train. Now he is freaking huge and detailed. So I'm gonna take the back cap, the cap section off, but off to the side and look at him. So yeah, there's Astro Train in his all his glory. Um, yeah, you can still see his head down there, but um, it's not that bad. Now the only, I think the only one gripe I do have is this section right here, but how small it is. Like it doesn't widen, widen to the other side. But oh well, that's, that's I'm trying to figure out how to do triple chain for this, and they did good on it. I like it. All these wheels are actually wheels. He rolls very decently nice. Oh, and then the front ones will move also. Um, he's got two ports to hold his weapons. I decided to put the missile pack on the back one. Looks, looks real nice on it. And then he actually comes with an, an accessory piece. It's like a um, um, the section where they will put coal uh, for the steam engine trains. But this I can just see just carrying just a bunch of weaponry or ammunition. But yeah, you can store all his weapons all right here. I just got them tucked backwards. You can flip them around if you want. Make them fully armed. There we go. So, yeah, he is fully armed, ready to kill anything that comes in his way. <laughs> Alright, so let's go ahead and get it. Oh, there's a person before I get into the next thing. So. Cat Peter Charles. Awesome. So size comparison. The bullet train is just a bit longer than the newer version. And then you got the itty bitty uh, G1 version, which is half of the bullet train. So yeah, uh, we'll go ahead and go to their um, shuttle form. So we'll catch you right back. Okay. <clears throat> We are back and they are now in their shuttle form. So we have G1 as train his shuttle form. Um, now the white becomes um, noticeable on this. He does have the little rub insignia on top. Um, as the, yeah, the cockpit window does kind of get lost in that dark purple he has. So it's kind of hard to see that sometimes. But yeah, there's the design right there. There's a rocket boost. Um, <clears> the <throat> only thing left in the train engine is pretty much just at the part of the swing and the <clears throat> edges of the wheels are on the side right here but that's about it not bad covering them up again no place to put this gun that i know of i thought it would just you know just slide in here but yeah it doesn't do much right there all right so on to the next one we have generations first astro train and he looks pretty good so yeah and you can store his gun underneath him, which is real nice. 
Uh, noticeable part about the trains is probably much this section right here, which is two halves of a boiler train as a side. But people can just say it's just the extended cabin or something like that. That's the rockets in the back. Looks real nice. Very noticeable. It's a train from before. He does have landing gear. It comes out. Just gonna move the gun up the way just a bit, but yeah, he does have that. And he does roll. <laughs> Alright. So with these guys off right here. And next is the big boy himself. Earthrise Astro Train. Just raise my camera up. Go push this back a bit. Alright. <clears throat> so now as you can all see, he is on that back piece becomes like a launch pad for him. Um I kind of like how far away he is from the launch pad like that, so I mean, that's the best I'm going to do with it, just getting close enough to it. But yeah, that's what they gave us. You can store all the weapons on the body. It's pretty cool. And, you know, notch them off. Look at the figure. Oh, sorry about that. Yeah, so there's the launch pad with nothing on it. Open up. So let's get rid of this. And this piece spins if you want to rotate them. Okay, so I'll put this on. Here's Astro Trump. He looks really good, like, details just pop out. Don't care about the gruff stuff on that, like they did for, uh, what was it, um, the previous line. God, I'm having a break right now. <sighs> but the Cybertron versions, they all had this scruff stuff. Take it off, come on. Okay, so you got a two Decepticon logos on the wings, which looks real nice. Um... I love the um, this uh, gray coloring uh, plastic mold they got for it. it. Looks real nice. You can tell the window shape right there, so that's good detailing. It's got the little red and yellow and symbio on the, on the side. It's real nice. And most of the train stuff is underneath, which they did a pretty good job of hiding it. And take a look at the back. They got, they actually silver painted the um, the engine rockets, so that's pretty cool. Oh, yeah, so he's got eight uh, ports, hard points to put any kind of weapons that will fit in them. They're pretty cool. No show. Let's go do a comparison. So there he is next to his G1 self. Next to the uh, uh, first generation, or generation first actually. And they have these two together, which they are pretty much the same size. So, yeah. So, we got to the shuttle and on to the robot form. Alright, we are back and they are now in the robot mode. So, first we're going to take out that Gen 1. So, yep, yeah, that's the train. Yes, as you notice, there was no stickers on him. I lost the sticker sheet that came with him for some reason and it's somewhere in my house. Anyway, so there he is. That's pretty good. Got half the shuttle and train showing up on him. That's pretty cool. His gun is ridiculously huge for his size. And he's got these little bitty arms. Little bitty arms. Alright, so I'll take this all on to articulation. No head articulation. That is stuck as is. Um, his arm can go out that high. Um, they can, if you move this up the way, they can rotate. But this far does it hit the wings. And yeah, it's on a single uh, ball joint kind of thing. So yeah, and that is nearly the only articulation he has. He is a brick. He has no leg articulation whatsoever. So yeah, oh, they do come undone if you hit him hard enough. So yeah, put him right there. <clears throat> Next up is Generation First, um, Astro Train. So yeah, he he looks pretty good. I was like, okay, I, I can dig this color scheme. Looks really nice. And um, his arm, his arms just hiding inside the board of trains cockpit. So I was like, okay, that's not bad. There's all that. There's a detail. There's the back of it. He's got the boosters on the back, like he should. Oh, okay. smack my camera just a bit. So yeah, looks real good. Uh, articulation. He is on a ball joint on the head. It's one of those ball joints that's not in the middle, it's like in the back, so you can go like this if he wants to. 
you can be like this. So yeah, kind of weird. Yeah, he's on the double bottom, so you can do the cha-cha-cha head. Um, arms can go this far around, this far back. Can go up a lot because of the transformation. So that's real nice. Shoulder pads on a different hinge. A ball joint on the elbow. And that's about it for the arms. Legs, no waist articulation, of course. Waist, he's got this wheel thigh piece right here. I mean, these, these thighs are the wheels most I've, I've seen on a transformer. But yeah, uh, he can bend his knee, which better than like he bent it, or he just pulled it up. Um, they can rotate. And that's it for the legs. So yeah, so there's him, and there he goes. Stay, there you go. And finally, here's the big boy himself, Astro Train from Earthrise. Straighten out my camera just a bit, I just realized it was on an angle. So yeah, here's Astro Train from Earthrise, looks pretty good. Um, you can put the weapons wherever you want to. I just decided to put it in like this kind of configuration. But yeah, here's the back of it. Nice. It's kind of keeping um, with the uh, the G1 with the train parts on the wings like that. So I really do like the attention to detail for that. Real good. Color scheme is real nice. Um, I think um, this uh, this version of Ashram right here, the Taco Atomi one, um, has the same color scheme as this one. So that's real nice. Has a little red showing on his belly, like uh, like it does for the fins for both of them. I mean, this one had the stickers, but yeah, it has the red right there, so that's nice. All right, go on to articulation. I'm gonna take his guns off because he does have another mode. It's not really a mode. It's more like throw all the accessories on him, and by that I mean like the net, the um, the caboose piece. Okay, all oh, that's gone. All right, articulation. Okay, so <clears throat> head it's very stiff, but it's on a ball joint. Go all the way around. God, it's so stiff. Arms can go up that high. He has a double joint elbow, well nice without transformation. And his hand only has this, but that's just part of the transformation, so nothing ready for that. Waist, he has waist articulation. Woohoo, he can do this. He can break his spinal cord. Okay, so um, legs and oh, it's nice. These fraps do move for the transformation, but it's kind of like Gundam fraps, if you guys get what I mean. Uh, they can move up the way so you can get more articulation out of it. Kick out like that. Um, they can rotate uh, up here. And he does have an ankle pivot joint for both of them. So that's real nice. So you can get him in like very good poses. They spread out and all that. Okay. So with all the weapons, um, I didn't even look at the instructions. I just pretty much guess how this all came together. It's pretty, it's pretty simple. So you take the, uh, the minigun uh, weapon and then you take this, um, this cannon one. Then you can plug them together. So... And then these similar guns with pegs on opposite ends, you can plug onto the side. Like so, so they come together. Da, 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 da. Just trying to straighten, straighten them out. Okay, and then uh, the missile part can go on the bottom since there is a hole also next to the peg. And it does fit well. And there you go. He, Astro Train got uh, a big ass gun, pretty much. With missile pods, everything. Just so put it right there. Trying to be similar to like all of Astro Train's giant guns. Especially this gun that goes to him. <clears throat> Alright, and then um, let's see. This is a piece from the cat. Um, the cat piece is split him in half. He got a new pair of snuffers. There you go. Give him a wee bit of height, not much. 
And this back piece, and this is not a back, well, it is going to be a back piece for me, but um, this piece you can do whatever you want with it. Um, I don't know what the official way to transform, but I just kind of like to leave it open like that. You can flip this around, you can twist this, make it more flush. This goes on the back, like so. And like I said, you can do what you want with it. I just won't leave it open like that. And there you go. You have Alex Trim with everything on him, pretty much. And I've seen people use this as a shield as well. Take that off. There is a peg right here. You flip this around. Get that out of the way. Okay, there we go. And um, yeah, I've seen people do it like this as well. So yeah, he's got one big old shield. So yeah, that's my triple review on Action Train from Generation Oh God, uh, Generation One to First Gen, First Gen, and then um, Earthrise. I know he did come out for um, was it uh, Titans Return? But I didn't want to get that version because it's just nearly just the exact recolor of uh, Sentinel Prime. So yeah, uh, thank you guys for my um, coming in to see my video. Stay tuned for more videos from Ghost Dude. I'll see you guys next time.